Australian researchers are among the international team of astronomers to discover a new multi-planet system. It's just the second circumbinary system, that is a system that revolves around two stars rather than one like our own solar system, found to have more than one planet. For more, joining us is the report co-author, Dr Rosemary Mardling, Senior Lecturer at Monash University School of Physics and Astronomy. Really appreciate you making the time. Thank you. I see the new planet's being described as the fictional Star Wars planet, Tatooine, I think you say it. How so? Describe it in a bit more detail for us. OK, well, first of all, I just need to correct a little uh, uh, thing there. Um, NASA did not discover this <laughs> new planet that we discovered. Um, it's the first planet to be discovered by a different method called the radial velocity method, which is the method that was used to discover the very first exoplanet. OK, so, and and we already know 12 other systems like this, NASA and their space telescopes, Kepler and TESS discovered those. But this is very special because it's, it's been discovered in a different way. But um, the system, you know, if you uh, could... Um, be on this planet and look in the sky, you would see just what we saw in Star Wars, tattooing uh, with a, a, a white, there it is, yes, the sun, and a, a red star as a companion star in the binary. In fact, the one we discovered um, is a little smaller and dimmer than that one in the picture, but it would look very similar. But the planet we discovered is actually just like Saturn, and is what we call a gas giant. So you wouldn't be able to stand on it, but if it had a moon, you could stand on that and look in the sky and see exactly what we just saw. It is fascinating, a fascinating discovery, Rosemary, and um, I apologise because we do want to give all full credit to those people behind it, and it's great to see Australians involved at that sort of level. Give us a sense of just how far away the system is, a sense of the, the distance we're talking about here from, from where we are on Earth. Oh, the distance to this system, that's a good, a good question, actually. I'm not sure. It's probably uh, about uh, 50 times the distance of the nearest star, which itself is a very, very long way away. It's uh, the, the nearest star is about 200,000 times the distance of the Earth to the sun. <laughs> so, you know, stars are, are very um, widely spaced. And, ah, and then we, we see a, a nice animation made by my colleague, Professor Hager. And uh, this shows uh, the relative distances of these things. So in the middle, we see the, two, the binary star system whipping around each other. And uh, the planet already known, the green one, and our new planet, Bebop 1C, is the red one um, orbiting quite close to the other one. So it's it's very special for a lot of reasons uh, that tell us very a lot about how planets form in the first place. But uh, they're very hard to detect these things, so we don't really know um, how common they are whether they're as common as planets around single stars like our, in our solar system. But uh, it's very beautiful for, <laughs> for many reasons. Mm. And so how do planets form in the first place? Give us the, the basic wow. concept. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a good question. When stars form, they, start, they form from a, a you know, big um, spread out cloud of gas and that cloud of gas tends to collapse under its own gravity, a star forms in the middle and all the sort of junk left over tends to collapse into a disk orbiting the star. And there's a lot of dust and, uh, in, in that, and gas in that disk orbiting the star. And that um, dust tends to collect together to make planets and eventually the gas disappears and we're left with the remnants of the star formation process, that is, planets. So, uh, you know, when before these circumbinary planets were discovered, we weren't sure whether planets would be able to even have the chance to form around a binary. Um, but, well, nature has told us that, that uh, it certainly can. So... 
And what do we, we see? Ah, so we're seeing a, a picture of, of the TESS space telescope there that discovered the first planet around this system. And our planet was, disco was discovered by uh, the, the European Southern Observatory on telescopes in Chile uh, using a different method to uh, the, the, the TESS space telescope. But together, they, uh, the discoveries make this beautiful new system, Bebop 1. And that name, Bebop, was named by my former student, David Martin, one of my co-authors on this paper. He's now at Ohio State. He's done very well for himself. And he's got a great sense of humour and he, he dreamt up an acronym for the system that has a nice ring to it, Bebop. And uh, they've been searching uh, for circumbinary planets with this uh, method, uh, the wobble method, so-called, uh, for quite a while now. And uh, this discovery is, has made us all very, very happy. Yeah, look, it, it sounds like a mind-blowing uh, discovery. Congratulations again, Dr. Rosemary Madling. Really appreciate you taking the time to tell us all about it. Thank you. No problem. Thank you.